Hey there guys, this is going to be your Lunar Eclipse reading for August 7, 2017. So, um, we're currently in a Lunar Eclipse, I believe it's in Aquarius. I'll leave a link below to um, a website that I go to. It, it gives you information and, you know, it's a whole article on the current moon phase and as well as how it's going to affect all 12 signs so i'll leave that link below so you can check it out so i'm going to use the silver witch craft tarot deck and i'm going to pull one guidance card from the isis oracle deck for this spread okay so let's see what the energies that are currently surrounding this lunar eclipse what is the energy divine spirit how is this going to affect us collectively divine spirit Okay, so we have the high priestess, which does represent um, inner, you know, inner workings. And you got the king of swords, the magician, the eight of swords, the ace of swords, the death card. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we have the seven of swords at the bottom. Okay, so the high priestess. So the high priestess is all about subconscious energy, things being unknown to you. Um, it also represents psychic energy as well. So this is a very potent energy. You also have the King of Swords here, which represents the um, element of air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And with this current uh, lunar eclipse, being an Aquarius. So this and uh, the sign of Aquarius, they are very intellectual. They're, you know, they're geniuses. They're innovative. Okay. So this moon may hit you in a way where you're... Um, senses your psychic abilities are very in heightened and very intense like you're picking up some very um, deep shit things that have gone on with inside of you that maybe you suppressed years ago that you thought you you know certain things that maybe you didn't even remember you put them in the back burner or maybe somebody recalls or just says something that you just never remember like you didn't even remember these things and they say something and it's like a a recall of the situ like uh, of that memory that comes up or there's certain things that are in the subconscious that you just didn't know that you were dealing with that comes up to the surface i feel like that's also going to affect you how you're going to communicate may be very, very um, profound, the way that you're communicating with people. You may hit some things, especially if you're an intuitive, like say, like, you know, what I do or you do other things um, like intuitive, like you have other abilities. Maybe you're a writer, you write poetry, you write blogs, you um you know, you channel guidance or information, you may come up with some very profound messages, okay? So, or it could just be that you're having communication or you're, you know, having conversations with your friend or your family and then you just say something that just hits them deep within them. There's something subconscious about it. So I feel like that's, that's how you're going to be affected with the magician card. It's also learning... The power of, so your words, it's going to show you the power of manifesting. So it's like affirmations, you know, that be careful what you wish for, or be careful what you say, because words hold power. And I feel like that's true here, but it's also learning how to utilize these gifts, especially if you're an air sign or an Aquarius, or maybe even an intuitive, you're learning how to um, implement some of those studies for yourself or, you know, do affirmations because, you know, during a full moon or new moon phases, usually these are the times for manifesting or setting intentions at least. Yeah. 
You also have the Eight of Swords right next to the Magician. With the Eight of Swords, this woman, she's her hands are tied to a tree here. And she has a sword in the other. So your words could free you or they can enslave you. Okay, for most of you, I feel like you're starting to see how maybe you were manifesting from a place of fear and of lack and affirming these things, communicating these things and further enslaving yourself or keeping yourself trapped, where in reality, you really don't want to be trapped. But I feel like you're going to recognize that it was me that was keeping myself stuck in certain situations. Like I was the cause of all of this, not so much an outside source. It's also this communication with your ancestors that help you to free yourself. Or maybe you're, you're cutting cords, maybe ancestral, um, you know, spirit, spiritual bonds, uh, spiritual ties that are unhealthy that need to be severed. You're doing it for the sake of your the rest of your lineage that is here because maybe there's certain things that has carried on through generations and you're now the one to cut it could also be what's going on at this time so it could also be don't be spooked out you guys but you know certain things do exist so spell magic and spell work so if there has been spells put upon you you know that you're unconscious you're not aware that someone has put on you whether they were unconscious of it or not or they intentionally set some sort of, you know, spell, magic, or curse on you, or this could be something, like I said, in the past that your ancestors were involved in, that's going to come up, and I feel like you're responsible for cutting those cords, and I feel like you have the ability to do so. You also have um, support in doing that. Okay, so I apologize. I had a phone call coming in, but um, moving on to the Ace of Wands. So it's there's a lot of um, progression, but also initiative as far as taking the lead with making some changes that are at least needed, to, that you're guided to make changes with. You maybe have um, may have been avoiding making these changes, or it's just because you haven't been able to see them for what they were in order to change the situation, if that makes sense. But now you do. You have all of the elements to actually make it happen. Um because you have the magician card it's always of course it's the alchemist card then you've got the ace of wands with that powerful force behind it and there's all of these um it's like this cat here and it has these fruits and vegetables and things like that it, to me that represents abundance and fruition and manifesting i get it. so i feel like you have all of the elements to make some things happen and make some big changes in a positive way the fire also represents transmutation so like i said i feel like you can alchemize the situation whatever um whatever the, the situation was where you felt stuck and not seeing your part in it or like i said it could have been things down the line the lineage or traditions that you picked up along the way or you know people putting things on you because we have to be careful of what we say because we can bound ourselves or we can you know bind others with our words and some people know what they're doing and others just don't know you know the power of words so however it works there's ways for you to cut these cords um, call your guides, call, you know, God, divine spirit, the universe, whomever you believe in to help you and assist you with clearing away anything that doesn't serve you. We're Re doing reversals on these things and taking back power, take back control of the situation because you can do that with the death card. There is room to um, put an end to a lot of this suffering. For some of you, you have been dealing with a lot. Not saying that this is just a quick fix. Of course, you have to take the initiative for yourself to make the changes that you need and continue with that. It's not going to be that one time thing. You know, you might have to complete this process or repeat this process a few times before things are completely severed and cleared away. But just know that the closer you are or the more that you continue this process, the, the closer you are to things changing for the better. You'll start to see better results each and every time. It's a process. And yes, our guides, our angels, 
spirit, God, the universe, the divine, whatever you want to call it, supports us and has our back. But we have to do our part here with the Ace of Wands. It's a, you know, we have that spark to do it, that inner spark, that that go ahead, that support to do it. We have to have the willingness and we also have to take the initiative with making it happen. All right, so I'm going to pull a card from the Isis Oracle. Okay. All right, Divine Spirit, what is... I might read from the book. It is a lot to read in the book, so... <clears throat> All right, so what is the message for this full moon? What is the eclipse and Aquarius energy for the collective? What is the guidance? All right, past life, present power, the many spiritual faces of you. Okay, so I'm going to read from the book because it's more effective that way. Anyway, at least for me, I guess. All right, so it says, when the soul is growing in service to humanity, in service to the great feminine and her call that all beings be healed and free, it gathers internal resources to assist on the path, the Ace of Wands, okay? The resources include powers and gifts from other lifetimes. You are currently integrating past life abilities and you are guided by the oracle of the past life present power to be open to shifting internal internally and in your experience of your own levels of power and spiritual ability okay talents abilities and powers wish to be restored to you now from past incarnations this will help your path you will often be able to recognize this because you will feel some instant fascination or deep interest for a culture philosophy his uh sorry <laughs> heritage or even a place on earth or beyond which is deeply compelling this is your intuitive recognition that a part of your soul connected with this passion this passionate interest is being drawn into integration at such times there can be emotions feelings and even phobias or fears that temporarily arise you may even find your taste for food and clothing and your sleep or other habits change quickly and noticeably for a time. These can all be signs that a past life energy is being integrated. Once it is digested into your current incarnation, you will feel more like yourself again, but in an expanded and more whole way. You will, you will just feel like you are more of yourself, more stable, more full, and more at home in your own being. It is a lovely state of being. Sorry, I gotta turn the page. <sighs> it is a lovely state of being to the spoken, to the spokes of the wheel, representing different lifetimes, flowing as golden light into the center of the wheel. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I turned the wrong page. I apologize. Um, so let me finish. So it says, it is a lovely state of being to enjoy, which makes up any ups and downs in the integration process more bearable. This oracle brings specific guidance that some of the past, some of these past gifts from other incarnations are associated with ancient Egypt and civilizations connected with ancient Egypt, earthly and beyond, including some star civilizations such as Cyrus and the Pallades. Look for the symbols, books, crystals, or colors that interest you and pay attention to your dreams. If it is helpful to be conscious of any issues around, around the past life skills returning to you now, you will become aware of them so that they can be acknowledged, accepted, and released. Often when integration is occurring, people who have been connected to you in such lifetimes become a more prominent part of your life. It is possible that they will remain thus or that as the integration, ha the integration happens and you continue to grow, some of these relationships will fall away. 
as you have completed the karmic healing and integration of these energies associated with this past life, distilled and the golden gifts are ready, are ready to move on. This may take weeks, months, or in some cases, years. All right, so it's giving us a ritual, um, which I'm going to skip that. It's, you know, it's up to you whether you're into all of that. Um, but it's saying, but you must trust in your timing for such matters as your own soul is guiding the process and knows exactly what it is doing. To enable the soul awakening to occur, purification and time to assimilate the healing is recommended. You can accomplish this through rest, time, and nature. Prayer that your power be exercised with love and mercy and willingness to be guided by the Divine Mother Lady Isis who loves you unconditionally. Okay, so it's telling us to use the prayer. Um, also know that as a wonderful... As wonderful as it sounds to retrieve past life power and ability, it is always it's not always without challenge. We often need to be willing to be fluid in our understanding and experience of ourselves. We need to be open to reframing our idea of ourselves as more spiritually connected, more powerful, and more responsible for our light on this earth. That can be confronting at times we often have to let go of any fear or disappointment we've suffered in the relevant past life before the gift can be restored to us in a useful way in this lifetime you can rest assured that anything you need to know in order to heal will come to your awareness you may or may not see the whole picture and if you do not then it is not necessary for healing we are always given more than enough to be able to heal it is just a matter of being attentive and aware of what is happening right before us in our lives and realizing that if we follow any pain, we will find what needs healing. Then the gift hidden within the pain can be released. The Oracle of Past Life Present Power indicates that gift found, the gift found in our healing will be past life talents and abilities. As with all spiritual instruction contained in this oracle as a whole, the Lady Isis will watch over you and assist with the process once you ask her in unconditional love. Okay, so I hope that that clarified some things. It kind of went in a little deeper to certain things that I was already picking up. But, you know, spirit sometimes has to reassure us and give us some more direct us, keep us, you know, you know, you're almost there. Keep going. You're cold, you're warm, you're hot, you know, until you get there. So I feel like we're getting warmer. I feel like now it's just up to us to take this information in the way that it resonates with us and apply it and move forward, okay? All right, you guys, that was your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it and it gives you some insight and clarity and you'll find it helpful through this Lunar Eclipse energy. As always, I'm sending you much love and until next reading, peace.